Today we are on a special events foray at Salt Point State Park for which I have applied for and gotten a permit. We pay 10% of what we charge people to the state parks and I've been doing it as a commercial venture for about seven years and I've done it as a volunteer with various mushroom clubs for over 30 years. Not only is it a great habitat, but it's the only state park out of 110 where we're allowed to pick mushrooms. So it gets a lot of pressure, but it's 6,000 acres and it just happens to have great geology and the geology creates the dirt and the dirt and the soil create what trees grow there. And the trees here are very conducive to having good mushroom partners. So it has porcini, five kinds of chanterelles. It has um, probably 10 other really good edibles you've never heard of. Um, and it's a beautiful park. Well, when I took a Russian family out, but the third time I took him out, he had his mother from Moscow. And she was picking these mushrooms that I had never picked to eat before. And I learned after 30 years of mushroom hunting about a mushroom that's ubiquitous. And it's a, it's a russula, which is a real common genus. And they just put them in stews. And a simple chemical change with a thermal change makes them edible. Whereas they're not edible if you just, if you just bite into them. They're real acrid. And that was kind of fun to learn something after decades that I didn't know about a hobby I'm so passionate about. So my friends are what we call mushroom people and they just like being in the wet winter woods together. Um, they experience the quietude. They can listen to the quiet in the forest when they're alone. Um, and it's a very, very healthy hobby, especially during all this COVID stuff.